everyone we want to come to you as the third week of the semester starts to provide an update on where things stand with undergraduates on and off campus and help correct a little bit of what we're seeing around compliance with our expectations and spread of the virus right now at duke and in durham i can imagine how you might think things are going okay but the truth is that we're very concerned um, if we look at the cases uh, at the student level each week on our COVID dashboard, the rates are ticking up and we are nearing a point at which we're all concerned about how the rest of the semester will continue. We are seeing transmission of the virus more on to off campus and off to on campus. It's happening when people are riding in cars to take a trip together, wear your mask in the car, keep the windows open. It's happening when people are eating too close together. The C team keeps coming up to people and asking people to move apart. It's because that is a real risk for folks. And so you, I know it's awkward. You've got to keep doing it. If you're somewhere inside eating and the contact and the C team can't find you, remember what to do because you don't want to give each other COVID. Um, there's, there's transmission happening in gyms and workout environments environments, wear your mask when you're running outside, wear your mask when you're working out. Uh, these things make a big difference. And we can see on the sort of transmission rates that this is where our spread on campus is happening. We're really lucky here at Duke that every student is being tested as frequently as they are. But unfortunately, testing doesn't prevent transmission. You can still be a risk to our community if you're not doing the really common sense behaviors that we've been recommending. We know that some students at this point, whatever months in we're now, we are now, are thinking, okay, well, it's not that big of a deal. If I get COVID, I'll go to quarantine, I'll go to isolation, I'll be back. Um, we do want to remind everybody that the risk to others, you know, other fellow students with underlying health conditions, to our faculty, to our staff, to our housekeepers, um, to all members of the Duke community. We're in a congregate living space. We are trying to make this work, um, but it really depends on people understanding that their safety practices, wearing a mask, doing the things that we all know we need to do, they, they lead to you preventing other people from getting sick who may not be able to take that sort of level of what's the big deal approach. In fact, many of them really, really, truly can't. And just to be clear, you don't want this. So many of us in the public health research community are concerned about this idea of long COVID, which is the notion that largely irrespective of how severe your initial course of COVID was, you could be left with potentially long-term complications, things like fatigue and aches and pains and loss of taste or smell, or you're just brain fog. Um, so the potential for you to, to have a long-term course of multi-systemic complications that at this point are untreatable, it's a really good reason to ensure that you're doing everything you can to protect yourself from getting this condition. Put simply, we may not be able to complete the semester as we started. That could mean going completely remote. It may mean limiting campus access. Um, all those things are real possibilities if we can't stop the spread. You know, it's the, you know, we, we have contingency plans where we would set it up that everyone has to stay in their room and it can only come out to get food. Um, we don't want that. We don't want that for Durham. We don't that, want that for you. We don't want that for, for the rest of the Duke community. Um, people are worried about getting sent home, quote unquote. We're seeing chatter about that on social media. The real concern and the real disruption would be having to stay in your room all the time. When somebody's worried about what we have to lose right now, we have our ability to sort of move about safely and thoughtfully and carefully with one another. The next step is everybody stays in their apartment or their room, and it's not going to be a good time. So let's not get there. While we're all waiting for the vaccine, there's a great potential that this could get worse before it gets better. We know that there are variants of the condition that make the virus more transmissible. And so the kind of behavioral protections that we're recommending, social distancing and masking in particular, are just going to be critical for all of us to do over this long, long semester. Um, it's one of our best ways of ensuring that even in the context of a more transmissible virus, we're protecting the campus. Yeah, we, we're all tired of this. Um, and I know that there has been a lot of loss in our entire community. This is extraordinarily frustrating for all of us. And the truth is that with all of the loss that we've had this, this year, um, 
there's still potential for us to lose more. And uh, it's just absolutely critical that we do everything we can right now so that we can end this semester, end this terrible pandemic um, in a place that, that doesn't get much worse. You know, we hit the message a lot with people of call a trusted friend, talk to somebody that you love, reach out to people. We know that it can feel like you're asking other people a bunch because this has been going on for a long time and the, the carrying weight of it is significant for all of us. It's lonely, it's isolating, it is a real challenge. And there are days when we're at our best and there are days when we are not. Um, it's important to just remember to be there for yourself, be there for other people, get connected voice to voice um, and, and find ways to sort of support one another. Um, we know it's not easy. There's a lot of loss here if you're a senior and your senior spring, if you're first year, anywhere in between. Um, this isn't what anybody signed up for. That's one of the reasons we want you to know that your actions still make a difference because we do want this to end. We want to get we want to get to the other side of this, um, but we know we're asking everybody to continue to make a collective sacrifice and it's not easy.